Do you want to know how I put shoes on my prosthetic? Well, you have come to the right video. Hey y'all, my name is Jessica Jordan, also known as The Rolling Explorer, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, I am a fashion girly, and a big part of fashion is accessories, including the ever important footwear. While I was growing up, I actually didn't feel like I had a whole lot of option in terms of what shoes I could wear. And to be honest, I didn't. I had a prosthetic that wouldn't adapt to different types of shoes. I now do have a foot on my prosthetic that is adaptable. Does mean that I can wear more than just tennis shoes or gym shoes or sneakers or whatever you call them. Which as a fashion girly is such a relief. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I put on two different types of shoes. Number one, a gym shoe, tennis shoe, sneaker, which I'm just gonna call gym shoe moving forward, and a chunky high heel boot. So without further ado, here's how I put on those two types of shoes. For starters, I'm gonna go in with this gym shoe right here. Isn't it lovely? It's actually quite dirty. I have worn these shoes for years. I got them gifted to me from Kizik actually in 2020, and I've been wearing them ever since. I love them, they're amazing. But the wonderful thing about Kizik is it's an adaptive brand. These are essentially slip-on shoes. Once they're tied to the level that you want them tied to, you don't have to mess with a whole lot, which is so freaking convenient for me because it makes this process so much easier. That said, if I was going to wear a shoe without this adaptive technology, let's say Nikes, for example, I love Nikes. They're usually my go-to gym shoes that I will purchase for myself. I have a pair in my closet right now. I always have a pair in my closet. They've never given me a blister. I love Nikes. Not sponsored. I wish, but not sponsored by them or Kizik, actually. So nothing in this video is sponsored. But I do like these two shoe brands for different reasons. Moving on. If I were to wear a shoe without this adaptive technology, then I could use a shoehorn like this to help me get the shoe on. Essentially, what you would do is just put this little hooked edge into the heel and it would help you pull the shoe onto the prosthetic foot. They're helpful for people who don't have prosthetics as well, but I know for me with a foot that has no movement and no bend and no give to it, a shoehorn has saved my butt on many occasions because it just makes getting the shoe on a little bit easier. Shoehorn is great. I will not be using it today because again, we have the adaptive shoe in our possession. So I typically like to put my shoes onto my prosthetic before I put the prosthetic on. Oh my God, the sun's coming back out. Prepare for me to have a spotlight on me, folks. Hopefully this lighting doesn't get too bananas. So as you can see, I have my prosthetic bent where the foot is facing up and then I put the shoe, of course it untied itself, but that's fine, that's an easy fix. Then I just slide the front half of the shoe on. Right now, the foot is in the flat position because I most recently wore a gym shoe. And now from this point, it's just a fun little wiggle game. Even though this is an adaptive shoe, I could still slide the shoe horn in here to help, but I was able to do that pretty seamlessly. And again, I didn't have to pull it from the back because these are adaptive shoes, which is amazing. There you have it, the gym shoe is on. It should not need height adjusted. If I were needing to retie it, which actually in this case, I do have to retie it a bit, I would simply prop up the prosthetic like this. That's not how I do that. You're supposed to make a bow first. I clearly don't tie shoes very often, folks. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, we make a knot, do this whole fun little shindig. How to tie a knot with one full hand. How to tie a bow with one full hand. Ah! It's fine, I can still finish this up. And just like that, we have a pretty little knot, we have a pretty little shoe. If for some reason, this was not actually at the proper angle, trust me, I would be able to tell within a second of the prosthetic being on. In fact, I'd probably be able to tell as I was trying to get the prosthetic on because it would be going on differently. I would just have to adjust that. Woo! I just hit my head with my prosthetic. I'm just done using this little button. And basically, that's how I'm going to adjust the ankle joint here in a second for the high heel. Fun. Like I said, we have a chunky heel boot here. This is actually one of my absolute favorite shoes to wear with my prosthetic because my foot goes to the exact height that is necessary to wear this shoe 
and it not feel like I'm gonna fall over. Before I put the actual shoe on, because I know that this angle is not aligned with the angle of the heel, I'm gonna go ahead and change the angle of the foot first. So I'm gonna press in this little black button here and once it's pushed through on the other side, this little screw situation, I don't know what it actually is, but this metal silver thing right here will come through on the other side, letting you know that the button is pushed and then I will just apply pressure to the top of the foot to pull it down like so. Like I said, that is literally the full extension that you can get to get a heel. To lock that angle into place, I then press that in on that silver button on the far side and by doing so that means that the foot is not going to change angles again until I choose to do so. So now that the angle is solidified I am going to slide this heel on and again if I wanted to I could use the shoe horn for this shoe as well but this shoe is so old and so worn in that it just goes on honestly without any struggle so I don't bother and I zip it up and there we have it the shoe is on the high heel is on it looks fabulous and she is ready for a night on the town that is how I put different shoes on this fabulous prosthetic that gives me freedom that gives me fashion, that gives me all of the things I love and makes me feel really good in the process. So I'm very lucky to have a prosthetic that has this adjustable ankle joint so that I can wear high heels. I know it's given me a lot more confidence in the outfits that I choose to wear and just in general, given me more confidence as a human being. It makes me feel more human being able to have these opportunities that other people have. And so we love accessible, adaptive things and we love mobility aids. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below other topics you'd like me to film how-to videos on. And of course, be sure to hit that subscription button and notification bell to see more content just like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!